are you today? My name is Shannon Ivins with Simply Hydroponics and Organics. Today we're going to walk you through step-by-step -step successful clones and cuttings. A few items you're going to need. First will be your choice of rooting plugs. This is a rapid rooter. You can also use Oasis Cubes or Rockwool. You're going to need a 7-inch dome. I like the one with vents. Vents cause air circulation. Without circulation your plants will not have humidity. They will not be successful at getting roots. You're going to need a bottle of anti-wilt. Anti-wilt does not let the plants wilt until they have successful roots. You're going to use a spray bottle of water for misting the dome a couple of times a day to keep up the humidity inside the dome. You're going to use alcohol. Alcohol is used for sterilizing the razor blade. I'm going to show you how to use Vita Root liquid rooting solution. I'm also going to show you how to use Clonex, the purple stuff on the Ziploc bag here. Whenever you take a clone, you want to make sure that you cut it at a 45 degree angle. You want to make sure that you get nodal spacing. I like to make sure that my clones are several inches long. You're going to put it in the solution, leave it in there for 30 to 60 seconds. So that gives you enough time to come over here and take a couple more clones while you're waiting on it. Very easy. You let that sit. You can come back to the first one. You push it in here very gently, making sure that you've got the nodal spacing into the rapid rooter. Making sure you have the nodal spacing inside of there is going to give the plant a much better chance of success. We're just going to use a couple of them today. We'll grab the razor blade. We're going to spray it with alcohol. This is strictly so that the razor blade is sterile, not carrying contaminants from one product to the, or one plant to the next. Same thing, 45 degree angle cut off the lower leaves so you've got that exposed nodal space. This time we're going to use the rooting gel. When you use the gel you want to make sure that you put it in the plate because if you put the plant in the bottle and there's a little bit of a disease or bacteria you've contaminated your entire bottle and every plant that you put in there is going to get a disease right from the door. Same thing back over here 45 degree angle. Now you want to make sure a lot of people stress that they're not going to move fast enough when they're taking their clone. You want to move quickly, however there is no need to rush. It's better to make sure that you do it correctly than it is to try and rush through it. And that in there. This is where you're going to use the anti-wilt and again this is like locking in the moisture so the plant will not wilt. This is where you spread the dome with water. Again, you want to spray the dome with water a couple of times a day. You want to make sure that you're not spraying the plant when you do this because that will highly increase the risk of mold and disease in your clones. You're going to put it on there. Make sure your vents are open. And that is how you take successful clones. Have a